Howdy y'all. Uh, back today with a couple of things. Uh, uh, yeah, there there are in, enough. There's enough going on here that I'll, um, I'm going to break this into two videos. Uh, the first one's going to be uh, just showing a haul, uh, a few books that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks, and then. The other video was going to be, uh, I got two AOKs in the mail. Uh, one yesterday, I think. <clears throat> and the other just uh, this morning. So, first of all, um, uh, Action Comics 1000. This is the Jock variant. Um... Believe it or not, uh, this old man does know who Jock is. Um, I didn't buy this because it was Jock, but I bought it just because it's so deliciously beautiful. Um, really, really uh, still uh, riding the energy of uh, the recent release of Action Comics 1000. And this it really is just a, a beautiful, beautiful book. Hope that's showing up okay. Uh, this came in the mail a couple of days ago. Marvel Mystery Comics number one. Um, I got it uh, just for the cover. I had never seen the book before a week or so ago and uh, ran across it. And uh, uh, I think a, a, a lot of y'all out there know that I'm a big fan of the uh, Human Torch Submariner covers and. Uh, Here's a nice uh, Golden Age tribute. Not not entirely sure what's inside the book, um, but I'll pull it out and look at it and see what's going on. Just a beautiful looking thing. Had to add it to the Torch and Subby collection. Um, here are three uh, X-Men books that I got from ETA Nick. Uh, he had a uh, posted his... Uh, Sunday sale video just this past Sunday today's Friday May the 4th May the 4th right yeah may the 4th be with you didn't somebody just post a video but uh, yeah I got these three X-Men books uh, they're absolutely beautiful Nick is an expert grader uh, he knows what he's looking at uh, and they came with backing boards that had his stamp there on the back, this is the uh, Nick Collection, the I Survived Irma 2017 stamp. And then, of course, I put my stamp on there with it, too. Yeah, this is number 39. Uh, I know this is the issue where they get the new costumes and all. Um, and I had the, uh, the reprint of this uh, strictly for the cover, really. Uh, so this is the first time I've ever owned this book, X-Men 39, yep, beautiful. The next book to come from Nick is a uh, really beautiful looking copy of uh, number 57. Uh, it does, however, have a tape pull on the back cover, which really uh, degrades it in the final grade, but uh, it... it uh, the, the price was right, and it presents so beautifully. I actually just got a copy of this uh, a couple of weeks ago, but uh, I, I, I wasn't going to. Hey, as long as I was there, I wasn't going to pass this up. It's just a very, very, that's a very beautiful cover. Got a really nice, deep color strike. All three of the books are beautifully centered. Um, and finally from Nick I got a copy of number 59. This is a really lovely book. Nick has it graded at an 8.5. I concur. Really sweet looking copy. Goodness gracious. Uh, classic Neil Adams X-Men. Good Lord. Yep. Yeah, beautiful thing. Again, got the stamp. Put my stamp there next to it. Really really beautiful books from Nick right beauties eh 
lovely. And finally, in this little hall, three copies of, three newsstand copies of uh, 205. I bought this thing off the rack uh, years ago, and I years ago sold that uh, pristine copy. And uh, I was in the market uh, and saw each of these. I didn't know which one I liked the most, so I just got all three. They were inexpensive and uh, just lovely. Excellent centering, new stand copies. Uh, <clears throat> just really terrific. This last, this copy has this incredible color strike. Really, really deep. Just lovely. Centering is not bullseye, but the, the color strike goes a long way uh, on this one, as far as I'm concerned. So there they are again. Nothing mind-blowing, but a, a smashing issue. Good God, Barry Smith. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Yeah, quite a little, nice little stack of X-Men here today, yeah. So, uh, that's it for the haul portion of the video. Uh, I know a lot of y'all have been asking about it, but yeah, the roof is complete. Got a new roof. They finished up Wednesday evening. Uh, just... 15 or 20 minutes before Nick's chat began. So uh, they did a terrific job. I uh, spoke to the foreman of the job. He said uh, they didn't run into any difficulties. Nothing took them by surprise. It was pretty standard stuff, so I was happy to hear that. Um, so that's done. Now in two weeks, uh, they come to rebuild my chimney. Uh, and they're going to have to put up the scaffolding and all that kind of stuff. So that, that ought to be fun. Um, and then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. There's a couple of things. I want to replace the gutters. I want to replace my garage door and the opener. Uh, I want to get some new siding around the back of the house. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff I'm going to do around here. But... Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, Nick, thanks again for the books. And uh, speaking of Nick, I've been having fun on his Wednesday night chat. Uh, I might be a little too vulgar or aggressive for some people's taste, you know, and... Uh, I can't really apologize for that. I do try to keep myself reined in a little bit. Yeah, on my channel, I, I, I'm, I'm calm, cool, and collected. But I don't know, you throw me in a room with uh, three other old collectors and uh, I let loose a little bit. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Um, this is video number one, and now I'm... Uh, gonna make uh, this uh, double A-OK -okay video. So, be back here shortly. Bye-bye.